Hello one, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a setup video for this brand new Keurig K Supreme Plus Smart Coffee Maker. So I just did an unboxing video, I went over all the dimensions. Now I'm gonna show you how to set it up for the first time. It does come with a water filter and there's a little bit of setup procedure to this tall handle water filter that came in the box. Make sure you got it out of the box. It says to remove all the tape and then we're gonna take this, this is the water reservoir. It says to wash this out with soap and water. So we're gonna take this to the sink and kind of rinse it out. You can get your hand in here and kind of scrub it with soap and water. And so I'm gonna do all this before I plug it in. I'm even gonna install the water filter. Okay, so we gotta open up this bag for the water filter. They recommend changing this every two months. Now these help eliminate chlorine and the bad taste in your water. So you gotta get a bowl of water, just submerge it in the water your water, this water is going to turn like a, um, a gray color. Now you just let it sit there for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're going to rinse it in the sink. You can see that carbon dust is coming off in there. And then we're going to install it in the tall handle and then install it in the reservoir. Okay, so the water turned a really dark um, gray. I went over to the sink and I rinsed this under the sink for about 10 seconds. Now you're going to take this tall handle and you're going to pinch these two tabs on both sides, and then this bottom's going to come off. There it comes. Now this has a rounded side and a flat side. The flat side's going to go down. The rounded side goes into the handle. And then you're just going to take this, and it should snap and not come off. Now here's your water tank. It's going to snap on. See, your water comes out of this little hole and goes into the coffee maker. So before it goes into the coffee maker, make sure you snap. There. You may have to turn it a little bit, but it should snap on. If it doesn't snap on, it'll float inside the water and it won't be doing its job. So there's the water filter installed. And again, after two months, you should change it. And I think this new smart uh, coffee maker with your phone app, I think it's going to tell you when you need to change your, your carbon water filter. That's going to be a really nice feature. Okay, we simply, the reservoir just goes there, but I'm gonna go fill it up first. Okay, so I've got it filled up, and you simply just set it on there. There's kind of like a groove. Okay, we're gonna plug it in. It says to touch any button to turn it on. Okay, it says you need to do a cleansing brew. Now, mine, when I first turned it on, it asked if I wanted to do English, and you press the big K button, and then it says English is selected, and then you select this little button right here that's lit up for OK. You can change the English to a different language at first, but that's when you very first turn it on. And it also may ask you if you want to set up the Wi-Fi. I hit skip. I'm going to do a separate video on setting up the Wi-Fi. And then when you first turn it on, if you don't have water in the reservoir, it'll say add water. So I've got water added. I turned it on. It's saying you got to do a cleansing brew. Do not insert a pod. Ensure water is filled and place a mug in the drip tray. Okay, so we don't have a, there's no K-cup installed. Make sure the basket, you know, this all comes assembled. Just leave this alone. Okay, it still says when ready, the big K button is lit. The four ounce is lit too. I'm going to just leave everything alone and press the big K button. Okay, it's doing a cleansing brew. The water coming out of here will be hot, so make sure you got like a mug. Okay, cleansing brew completed successfully. I'm gonna hit the continue button. Get to know your brewer. Here, oh, it's got like a menu thing it's gonna walk you through. Brew ID, that's something I'm gonna go over in my next video. My next video will be a detailed video. Um, I'll brew coffee, I'll brew some K-cups, I'll go over all the different menu settings. I'll show you, and I'm also gonna do a video how to in install the app on your phone and how to connect this to the, your Wi-Fi. And then I'll do another video on how to connect it so you can control it with your Alexa device. I'll also be doing videos on how to descale it. And this video is mainly just gonna be the setup. And once we finish this, it does say you're ready to brew your first cup of coffee. So let's just, we can, 
and it says you can brew over ice. Okay, insert pod, press K for hot water, okay. So you're ready to start your first um, K-cup. And again, this thing brews K-cups. And I think this is gonna have something to do with this, this brew ID. See how that's got that little label on there? I'm not sure if that's what, how it's gonna do it or maybe it looks at the whole label, I don't know. A lot to figure out with this machine. They've really added a ton of features to this. So I'm super excited about doing my videos on this. I'm also gonna do a live stream on Saturday morning. We're gonna play around with it. So this was probably one of the nicest ones to set up. Uh, normally you just have to read the directions. This one walked you through it with the screen. So that was really, really nice. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.